what's up everybody, it's Carl aka Carl Trump Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to play to a metronome. Cue the music. Okay, so if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's the red button down below that says subscribe. That way you are notified anytime I put out a new video in regards to marching arts, marching bands, drum lines, inner percussion, drum corps, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. Now also make sure that notification bell is ringing as well. That way for sure you will be notified anytime I put out a new video. So subscribe. Make sure that notification bell is ringing. And let's get the video. Okay, so uh, there was a request to uh, do a video on how to play to a metronome. And uh, I think this would be very helpful to a lot of people. And uh, just especially in terms of like, you know, some people who struggle with, you know, playing to a metronome. So, um, you know, and let's talk about why you struggle, okay? So first of all, um, you struggle because, you know, you haven't been trained yet in terms of like, exactly knowing right where the downbeats are now you can say okay well you know I know it's on one two three and four fine okay but um, if you're not used to just like feeling that pulse it's gonna be very difficult to follow along to a metronome that's absolutely perfect now you can say oh well it's perfect well you know it's like um, it's, it should be easy to follow because you know it has a very uh, predictable spacing which is true however we're, we are all imperfect beings and uh, we are used to uh, things being imperfect okay so how do we become more perfect like the metronome how can we you know uh, put ourselves in the position to be able to play to metronomes so we can get to that perfect level right the answer lies within uh, not using the metronome at all okay so let me explain okay so uh, I am sure a lot of people you know uh, I mean and everybody has will have their own ideas of how to approach this uh, which is all valid um, this is just the way I approach it this is the way I teach my students and the first method I use to helping students be able to play the metronome is I don't start them with the metronome at first so what I get them to do first like for example we're, lear we're learning eight on a hand okay I might just have them count out the rhythms, right? So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. If they're playing 16 notes, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Just, you know, getting familiar with the grid, right? Getting familiar with the rhythms, getting familiar with the count structure, right? So that's the key, is to not get lost within the grid, knowing where you are at every single moment in time, meaning, you know, at every single beat, every single number, you know exactly where you are, you know exactly what note you're playing, okay? Just be able to count all that out. Now, it gets to a point, 30 seconds, stuff like that, where like you can't really count out everything, um, but at first, uh, you definitely wanna do that starting out. Now, um, if you're not in the marching percussion field, if you're playing drum set or something like that, um, or if you're playing just, you know, basic percussion, or you're just, uh, you know, like I, I teach K through eight, I, I have very young students. Um, I always get them to start counting first, okay? Counting out one and two and three and four and getting them used to that, knowing those rhythms, knowing those new syllables, those new words that maybe they're not used to saying, one e and uh, two e and uh, or in the east coast one take two ta i don't know how that goes anyways <laughs> i'm used to the one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a okay please forgive me if they're you know if you're used to another way okay so um i start with that and then if you're a marketing percussionist right um then i add in the feet right so you're gonna mark time right one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and putting your feet down at the, the, at the exact right time okay ones and threes in the left uh twos and fours on the right okay and then no matter what you play uh be able to mark time uh to whatever it is you're playing so if you are counting right for example you play eight on hand one and two and three and four and okay and your playing lines up with your singing okay um then you should be able to line up you're playing to your feet, right? So one and two and three and four and one. Okay, so you wanna say the syllables to keep yourself in check, right? So that you're absolutely sure that when you say one, your left foot hits. When you say two, your right foot hits. When you say three, your left foot hits. And when you say four, your right foot hits, okay? Every single time, okay? And if it's not the same, if they don't line up, then you need to slow it down and make sure they do line up or stop or slow down, whatever you need to do, right? Like when I, and when I say slow down, like you can slow down, you know, in the middle of the exercise. One and two and three and four 
and, and just force your hands and feet to line up. I know, that might seem counterintuitive in terms of like, well, you're supposed to play in time, you're supposed to play in tempo. When we first start, I don't care about tempo. Like for me as a teacher, I don't care about tempo. I don't care if, you are, if your spacing is good. Just line up, you're counting to your playing and or line up your playing to your feet, okay? Because number one, all right, your first metronome that you're trying to line up to is yourself. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, even though you are imperfect, okay, learn to line up with something, okay? And the counting helps with that. The counting gives you structure. The counting tells you exactly where you are in the grid, okay, so you know where you are at, at every single beat point, okay? One, two, three, and four, okay? So once everything lines up, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, you see where this is going? Then you turn the metronome on, okay? So let's turn on our metronome here, okay? Let's set it at 100, okay? First, maybe you, want, you might want to just start counting to it, right? So one and two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and. Very important that when you say those numbers, it's exactly at the same time uh, the metronome clicks. Is it perfect for me every time? No, but that's the goal to try to make it perfect every single time. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one. Every single time, okay? Then you add the feet. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Cool, feet singing. Metronome, lined up, cool, let's line up the hands. One and two and three and four and 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 one. So you might have to adjust as you go. Like I said, not every note is exactly going to be perfect every single time in terms of lining up with the metronome. But as long as you know where it's supposed to line up, you'll have an easier time, uh, you know, well, it, 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 you'll be closer. Right? Versus like if you didn't know, if you didn't count, if you didn't go through the initial process, it's a lot harder to be like, to, ch to chase that beat, okay? So now, in terms of chasing the beat, okay, that's another thing that people might get into, is they might react to every single click and that makes them a little bit late, okay? So, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that, pretend the metronome is a song. It's a boring song, but pretend it's a song. What do you do when you have a song that you like? You might bob your head, you might tap your feet, okay? It makes you part of the music, right? It, it just, you feel like you are engaging with it, okay? It's making you move because it has a certain beat, okay? So if you do that, right, you're more likely to be able to be in tune to that beat, okay? To be part of that beat, okay? So instead of reacting, right, like I gotta hit it here, 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 like you're chasing it, right? It's a very reactionary position, okay? You want to kind of just groove with it. Yeah, cool song, man. Okay, it's a lot easier, okay? And if you do find yourself off, okay, you can make an adjustment as you go, all right? Does that make sense? So that is how you line up to a metronome, okay? And that is with eighth notes, 16th notes. Like I said, you got to know where you are in the grid. So one knee, sorry, <laughs> uh, one knee and a two knee and a three knee and a four knee and a one knee and a two knee and a three knee and a four knee and a... Okay, so as long as you are able to count first, it'll be so much easier, okay, to line up with the metronome. So, like I said, the tip is start without the metronome first, okay? When I start new students, I always start them off the metronome, okay? For what, it gives students freedom to learn this process without the pressure of, okay, the metronome's here, okay, uh, okay, uh, the, the beat's right here, oh, you're behind, that's okay, oh, sorry, like, you know, the, and the metronome just keeps going without you, doesn't care, right, because it's an, <laughs> an emotionless, unfeeling robot that doesn't care if you're dragging or slow or, or rushing, okay, and then it's very hard to learn in that process. Now, can it push people to step up to it? Of course, all the time, right? However, right, it's still good to kind of take your time and um, learn at your own pace and not be pressured to uh, get everything down first right away with the metronome. Now you can always slow it down. Okay, that's another option. Okay, but I think it's really good to take your time to uh, really, you know, learn this process without pressure at times. Okay, and uh, you know, if you need to slow down, 
um, like I said, or hesitate just to line up your hands and feet in your singing, uh, it's okay to do that. Like, don't worry about tempo. Don't, don't worry about tempo control. Don't worry about even spacing. Just worry about knowing where you are in the grid first, knowing how to count, uh, knowing all the syllables, all the count structures, one E, N, a two E, N, a three E, N, a four E, N. That's so important first. I always find that when I start with that process, it's so much easier. You turn on the Met, like, you know, students K through eight can line up with the Met a lot better or play to a song a lot better if they understand that counting process first versus if they had not done it at all. Because what ends up happening is they have no idea where the beat is, okay? They have no idea where they are in terms of where they're playing. Uh, so, if, But if they're counting first, they learn that first, they learn how to have that flexibility to slow down, to speed up as they need to, but still line everything up, singing, playing, feet, okay? Feet for marching percussionists. If you're not marching marching percussionist, you have to have the feet at least count. Okay, so you know if you do that, it's a lot easier to start off just counting to the metronome one and two and three and four and oh that lines up cool. Then line up the if your singing is lining up to the counts or the metronome, then you're playing, and if your playing is lining up to your singing, everything lines up right in theory. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, it wasn't the most. Uh, it, this is a pretty raw video, you know, uh, you know I, I do things off the fly, off the cuff, so you know some things may not have come across as smoothly as I'd liked, uh, but hopefully as I would have liked. <laughs> See, like even just my grammar is like, ah! Um, but uh, hopefully this video was still helpful to you, okay? So cool, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, do me a huge favor, hit that like button down below. If you have any questions or comments, leave that in the comments below as well. If you feel like this video could help somebody else out, somebody who's struggling playing with a metronome, uh, or you wanna recommend to them, hey, play with a metronome more, uh, here's how you do it, here's how you do it better, um, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you have not subscribed yet, or if I told you to subscribe, make sure you subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so cool. Guys, thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, stay healthy, stay safe. Uh, we're still under quarantine right now. So uh, this is one of the things you can do uh, to pass the time is to practice, uh, practice with a metronome. Um, and if you're having trouble, turn it off, learn how to count first, and then turn it back on and see if you can line it up better that way. Okay, so uh, like I said, be safe, be healthy. I'll see you all when we, got it, when, when we get out of this. I'll see you online on the next video and watch more of them by clicking over here and subscribe over here. Peace, catch you guys on the next video.